Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Fasa Malik Fight Arts. Today we are going to um, break down and talk about a technique that has become a popular demand. And that is the Nico style. Yes, King and Ashura's Omatokita infamous technique, the Nico style. We are going to break that down today and I'm going to give you a tutorial on the basics of the kata that I will teach you in this episode. Now, the technique that I want to talk about is the flame kata flash fire, particularly flash fire. It is a very fast and flashing movement that not only gives you the capability to move faster, gives you a stronger foundation towards your fast movements, and also create momentum from small spaces and a fast reacting footwork to create a stronger, faster, and better kicks, moves, and also launches for your martial arts performance, martial arts fighting choreography, and all those kind of stuff. And I will show you how the Nico style have impacted my movements and my training and my progression in a such a way that it gives me power and a different grasp of technique towards the practice that I do that gives me confidence and give me power. Not only that I am a lot more better in my footing, a lot more firm in my footing, but I became such a a control person towards my own foot, I understand what to do and what not to do in my steps. And it makes me a lot more comfortable on my own skin, on my own movements. So I very much recommend this. Now I have two techniques that I want to teach you in this flame kata. Um, in flash fire, there are two techniques that I'm very interested of and has given me a lot of benefit from. Number one is called the flash fire dash and retreat. And the second one is the flash fire switch. Okay, so flash fire dash and retreat and flash fire switch. Now before you start, I recommend you guys to warm up, do some skipping ropes for 10 minutes, do push-ups, do squats, do pull-ups, do lunges, all the things that can prepare you for this type of movement that is explosive, fast twitch, and also um, pretty taxing to the legs. So the first one we're going to do the dash and retreat. Okay, hands up, relax your shoulders just like Oma. Be in your foot stance, be in your fight stance, on your balls of your feet, always be ready. Now pay attention. This is a fast movement, so you have to keep in mind to be as fast and as twitching as possible. So you dash forward and dash back. Dash forward and dash back. You have to be on your balls of your feet, you have to be bouncing, you have to be ready. Hands up, shoulders relaxed, thighs relaxed, and dash forward and back. Play around with this, play around with the movement, play around with the technique. Now, it's not that hard, right? But there's a lot of work that you need to do. You have to be able to do it on both sides of the leg. That is very important. Now, as we switch, we start to dash forward and retreat, dash forward and retreat. From one dash forward, one dash back, two dash forward, two dash back. Play with the numbers, play with the motion. Play with the bounces and play with the timing. Now let's get into the detail of the foot. So step forward and step back. That is the simple understanding of it. Now try to hop into it, but not necessarily jump, but just slide forward. Okay, both sides of the leg. Step and retreat. Do not put it linear, always put it in a diagonal position. Balls of your feet ready at all times. So dash and then retreat. That is the goal, dash and retreat. You have to be able to imagine that you are attacking and retreating from the attack. So it is two sides of the coin at the same time with one movement. It's both attacking and both defending yourself. But defending in a sense of evading. 
Now I'm going to add a kick, a very simple kick, a roundhouse kick. Now I know not everyone can do a full turn, that's okay. You can always kick the roundhouse and put it on front. Eventually you will go to the full round kick. It's just about gaining your speed and your power to be able to do a full turn. But first, make sure that you know how to kick and put your foot down afterwards. Okay, so keep in mind, the next step we will try to do a dash and a kick as we keep moving forward. So it will be a dash and a kick and drop your foot in front if you can do a full roundhouse. Make sure that you can kick properly, make sure you're kicking with a roundhouse kick with your shin, um, with the top of your foot. So get that in mind first. So now let's apply the dash and the retreat with a roundhouse kick. So as I kick, I will dash backwards. So forward, kick, backwards. Forward, kick, backwards. So offense, defense. Cool, right? Very simple. Very simple movement, but it is such a versatile movement that you can apply it for both attack and defense. Now again, this is very important. You have to be able to do both left and right of the kick left and right of the dash it is very important okay this is where the technique becomes a an advanced understanding because you can use it in any how in any position of your leg if you can only do it one side there is no point okay so keep drilling that keep trying keep trying to find a comfortable position on where when or how you would dash in your understanding what you need to do is definitely know the bounce and the timing of the balls of your feet. Keep your body ready at the balls of your feet. Keep the body always in a movement state type of, type of uh, position where you're ready to dash forward and back after and before the kick. So you can always cancel and you can always um, commit to an attack or to a defense. It would be very beneficial towards your fighting choreography and your training and your overall kicking and moving foundation, okay? Now, use this in your daily drills. Remember to dash forward, retreat, and kick. It's in that three combinations, okay? Play around with that. Use it as your daily routine. Use it as your, as your daily conditioning. It is very beneficial for your footing and for your foundation. Remember to be ready to retreat, to be ready to dash, and to be ready to kick. You will blister your foot, you will hurt your calf, but I mean, come on. It's about the proper technique. Remember, okay, it's the dashing forward and the retreating. The second one would be the switch. Now, this is my favorite. It gives me a lot of momentum. It gives me a lot of channeling of power in a small position. So what you do is you literally just switch and that's it. So being able to constantly switch left to right, left to right. You can do it once, you can do it twice, or you can do it three times, it's really up to you. But this is how you generate momentum easily from a no area position so you don't need to step you don't need to charge your um, momentum by stepping in a wide stance all you need is just to switch and you can launch your body up from there so again this would be the goal right here having a fast and proper position of switching from left to right and left to right and left to right okay that would be the goal now, pull your pants up, watch this. It's not jumping like the uh, baby mama squats. It's not that. But the idea is to switch. So you are dashing to the other position by using and utilizing the trunk rotation of your body and the fast twitch muscles that you have. Incorporate that with a maximum effort. You can, you, can, you can try to um, get used to it by jumping around like baby, baby mama squats but at the end of the day it is not a baby mama 
switching squat. It is a fast twitch change of position. Now what's the benefit you may ask? Simple, a very strong kick, a very stronger kick. You can get a lot of momentum just from switching, a lot of energy and a lot of power just from switching and dashing. Because you are utilizing your whole body towards a movement and at the end, launching it on a strike. So it is very amazing to be able to control this and to not swing around, okay? That is very important. When you switch, you must not swing around. So as you switch and as you kick, it is sharp, it is fast, and it is solid. So apply this with a basic round horse kick. Switch and kick, as simple as that. So watch this again. As you put your stance up, relax, dash forward, switch, and kick. Dash forward, switch, and kick. It's really that simple. And it's a lot of fun to do. And you can drill this every single day with a punching bag, without a punching bag. You can do it anyhow. As you switch, as you dash, there is a momentum that you throw around. And when you utilize that momentum, your kicks and your strikes will be a lot more powerful. Same like boxing. You launch the power from the hind of your foot. Use the same technique, but this time on your roundhouse kicks. Use the switches. So control here is important. You don't want to be swinging around like a maniac. You have to be able to control it. Technique over everything, okay? Understand understand that you have to be able to control this momentum. Okay. Controlling the momentum means controlling energy properly and gen generating proper kinetic power from your twitches and from your sudden movements. That's where all your energy comes from, okay? So, as you dash, switch, kick, dash, dash, switch, kick, dash, switch, kick, dash, dash, switch, kick. It's a really basic combination. But again, I recommend you to practice the roundhouse kick first. Now the benefit, <laughs> definitely amazing, amazing. You can switch and you can kick and you can generate a lot of momentum just by switching and just by changing your position, by controlling this sense of awareness of your body, you can generate a lot more better movement. You can generate a lot more better strikes, a lot more better tricks, and you can understand your body far better. Use this in capoeira, use this in taekwondo, because it is definitely a taekwondo technique. Use it in boxing, MMA, or any kind of um, fight choreography art that you want to do. It is very beneficial. It gives you a strong foundation, you know? So you're not just kicking out of the blue. You're not, you're not kicking out of um, the sheer thought of, oh, I can kick. No, you understand how the kinetic system of the body works, you understand how to utilize and generate power, you understand how to capitalize and maximize the power of your body from just the control of momentum. Okay, it is also physics, it is also fitness, it is everything in between, right? Now my favorite technique from this fire kata would definitely be the switch because it is very beneficial for my tricks, it is very beneficial for my performance. Huh. What do I know? Turns out he's true. Nico style is the best there is. Remember to drill this constantly, okay? Be resilient, be patient. Most importantly, be consistent. So whatever your sport is, martial arts, martial arts tricking, acrobatic stunt, train hard, but mostly train smart, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video.